Okay, so for this question, we have one out of 100 males is affected by an X-linked recessive condition. What is the probability that a female would be affected? You can assume hardy weinberg equilibrium. So this is basically giving us the disease frequency, right? Because it's saying one out of 100 males is affected by an X-linked recessive condition. So this is the disease frequency. How likely is it? Uh, is the male to have a X-linked condition, right? So what do we need to find out? We need to find out the allele frequency. So this is just like a normal Hardy-Weinberg problem, except with an exception, which is the fact that this is a sex-linked uh, condition instead of being just an autosomal condition. So just a quick, re uh, quick overview. Um, males have an X and Y, right, For, to make the, the Y is needed to make a male a male. And so females have two X's, right? So we have two autosomal chromosomes and one sex chromosome to give us the total of 23 uh, pairs of chromosomes, right? So for this, all it's saying is that we have two different types of X alleles, right? So we, ha we have a X dominant, right, and an X recessive. And this is saying it's X linked recessive. So it's saying that the male, right, the male has the recessive allele, and then it's giving us 1 out of 100. So what exactly is 1 out of 100? Well, they're saying that it's affected by a recessive condition, right? So they're basically giving us the disease frequency, and we need to find the allele frequency. So this is pretty interesting about, um, so it's just saying the uh, 1 out of 100 is a disease frequency for the recessive allele. Um, for the recessive male, um, but the thing for X-linked recessive is that for males, um, for X-linked recessive, Q2, right, in the Hardy-Weinberg problem is equal to Q, okay? So coming back over here, so just remember that for any X-linked recessive, right, um, male, Q squared, right, the disease frequency is equal to the allele frequency, okay? Why is that? Well, we have to look back at here, right? X. Um, so, the male has, is affected by the recessive allele, but he only has one of them, right? A female can have two recessive alleles. So that means that if if the male can have one recessive allele and be affected, well, he could never have another X because that wouldn't make him a male, right? So that means that Q squared, right? So if this is saying 1 out of 100 is the disease frequency, then it also has to equal the allele frequency because there's only one allele there, right, that can cause this in a male. Um, this can't be Y. It can't be transferred through Y, so this is the only thing it could be transferred through. So that means that the disease and the allele frequency are equal for males. So now since we have the allele frequency, right, because 1 out of 100 is the allele and the disease frequency. Now we can solve it for females. So for uh, we know that for Q squared, Q squared is the homozygous recessive, right? So it's just saying that the, um, the female has two X-linked recessive copies. Therefore, she will be affected by the uh, condition. And so we're finding that rate. So we know that Q, right, we just found out that Q is 1 out of 100. So that equals 0 0.01. So 0 0.01 squared, right, um, 0 0.01 squared over here is 0 0.001. And if you put that into a fraction, that would be 1 over 10,000. So that would be your final answer. A female would be affected 1 out of 10,000 times um, and a male would be affected one out of a hundred. And that should make sense to you, right? Because if he, a male only needs one copy of this recessive to be affected, but a female would need two. And so it'd be a lower probability that the female would be affected rather than the male. So I hope that helped and thanks for watching.